Well, as we've just heard, a few weeks ago, Uganda passed a new law that carries some of the harshest penalties for openly gay people. Life imprisonment for some homosexual acts, and you can go to prison for years for promoting gay rights. President Obama is among the world leaders to attack the law, but it was influenced by a small group of Americans. Channel 4 News has spoken exclusively to one of them, an evangelical pastor from Massachusetts, who's considered to have a direct impact on the law. Inigo Gilmore went to Boston to meet the man who says it's his mission to protect civilization from the homosexual movement. And be warned, the views expressed may offend some of you. You are never going to stop AIDS until you stop treating homosexual sodomy as a civil right and start treating it as a form of conduct to avoid. <laughs> Evangelical minister Scott Lively is an awkward fit on this stage. He's running for governor of Massachusetts, one of America's most liberal states. And he's running on a fiercely anti-gay platform. At this hustings run by a local gay rights group in Boston, his message was widely greeted with derision and ridicule. Why would we be propping up homosexual relationships instead of encouraging people into healthy, normal families? It's it's, uh, it's completely backwards. <laughs> How dare you say that homosexuality and pedophilia are equated? Well, they are equated. They are equated. But it was very different when he took his anti-gay message to Uganda. Here he was at a conference in 2009, attended by Ugandan lawmakers and religious leaders. The gay movement is an evil institution. That's goal, the goal of the gay movement is to defeat the marriage-based society and replace it with a culture of sexual promiscuity. His presentation, part of which was broadcast on Ugandan television, focused on what Lively called the gay movement and its agenda. This is something that I have invented. This is a scale, it's called the scale of gender uh, normalcy. He went on to list several categories of gay men. And I call these, the first category, super machos. These were the Nazis, uh, the ones that helped Hitler come to power at the beginning, the jackbooted thugs. You have what I call the monsters. They're serial killers, mass murderers. They're people, they're sociopaths. This is the kind of person that it takes to run a gas chamber, right? Or to, to do a mass murder. The Rwandan stuff probably involved these guys. This key conference was filmed by Reverend Kapia Kaoma, a Zambian Anglican priest. A week after the conference, Lively gave a separate five-hour presentation to the Ugandan parliament. And the following week, some MPs said it was time for a new anti-gay law. Every talking point of Scott Lively was in that bill. Scott Lively is bringing the narrative that there is a movement to recruit young people into homosexuality. That is something which was not there. It becomes now the new rationale for having the new law in Uganda. How are you? I met Dr. Lively to ask how he had influenced the law in Uganda. The legislation that came out, you know, which evolved from, from the time that you were going there, is, has brought in very harsh punishments against homosexuals in Uganda. Oh, well, I've always are you happy about that? I have mixed feelings about the Ugandan law, right? I support the provisions of the law that increase penalties for homosexual uh, pedophilia. I, have, I support the, the, uh, the, the clauses in the law that enhance penalties for intentionally spreading AIDS through sodomy. Right? I do not support and never did support the harsh penalties uh, in terms of long prison sentences. I don't believe in that. I never have. I didn't suggest that to them when they brought it up. But I that's mean, a direct consequence of the hysteria that you helped to create. Isn't so it? you say. That's what is why based on propaganda from my adversaries. So it's pretty inflammatory to link Nazis with gay gay people, isn't it? Well, if it's true, do we really do we care it's more based about on your thesis? I mean, I've, no one else has come out with this. this. Well, it's uh, people don't have uh, a lot of courage in standing up to the to the gay bullies, uh, but the facts of history are are manifest. Dr. Lydy rejected the idea that he had been responsible for stirring up anti-gay hatred in Uganda. Give me a name. Give me a name of somebody. That's but I repeatedly pushed it to account for his most controversial comments. Not a single person. Such as labelling some gays as monsters and linking gays both to the Nazis and the Rwandan genocide. You then directly linked it to a neighbouring country of Uganda, where they had a genocide, and you said it's probably involved these guys talking about gays 
in Rwanda. You started suggesting did, that Rwanda did you genocide. watch the whole? I'm did looking you, at it now. This is you, you watch, here now. Did you watch the whole? The whole I'm watching segment. the clips. This is you. But if you watch the whole segment, you find out that when I'm talking about the monsters, I'm saying that's an extremely small number of people. And I'm, and yeah, but you're referring to gay people as monsters, as super macho. Some of them are. You say, you know, you're saying some they're, they're bestial, are. they're animalistic. So, some of them are. But you know, you know the president of your country is wholeheartedly against this legislation. Obama? He's condemned it. <laughs> He's condemned it. But you're a citizen of this country and you're going there to influence what's I think, I think Mr. Obama may well be a homosexual himself. He's certainly a radical homosexualist, meaning a, a person, whether homosexual or not, who is 100% invested in the homosexual. So you think President Obama's a homosexual? I think he may be. He is lending the weight of his office to uh, a movement that's goal is to overturn the Judeo-Christian sexual ethic and replace it with the gay ethic of sexual anarchy. God bless you. I, I hope you, you overcome you your us. problem. You Dr. Lidby's opinions are often greeted so with derision, even abuse, in liberal America. Yeah. And have you sought psychiatric care? No, I no. never needed it. I would advise that. Yeah, I, I know. Strong. So in Massachusetts, his opinions appear to carry little weight beyond his mission coffee shop in the small town of Springfield. Okay, bye now. Yet this same man was heralded as an important scholar in Uganda who influenced some of the most draconian anti-gay laws in the world. Laws now denounced for inflaming hatred and stirring persecution. Inigo Gilmore, Channel 4 News, Massachusetts.